What's up, YouTube? So I have intentionally not made a video for the last few days, and I'm going to tell you why. This video is called, what is it called? John Yang Takes a Bullet for Andrew. It's a good title, right? I think that's a, it's a pretty fire title. I called this video that because I haven't made a video lately because... I was getting ready to make video, you know, I'm looking for topics, you know, I'm perusing the internet and I come across, I go, to, go, I go to Andrew Yang's Twitter feed, which is just a great place to go for, you know, kind of staying up with what's going on. You know, there's lots going on. He's saying a lot of things. He's very active and I love this. But I came across a tweet from three days ago. I don't know the tweet verbatim, but basically he was talking about active shooter drills and I called this video uh, uh, what I called it because Yang said something to the effect of and uh, I know I'm gonna butcher this because it's like eight lines and I'm only gonna tell you the gist of it but basically he said something along the lines of if we're weighing the if we're weighing like the anxiety and the stress and um, the insecurity that we're putting on to our children, he'd rather we'd not have active shooter drills. Now, this is something that I'm surprised nobody picked up on. Like, I haven't seen any media outlet even talk about this, which is like blowing my mind, which is why I was like, thank you, John Yang. Thank you, crowd surfing. Thank you, everything else that's happened to keep this tweet from getting picked up. Uh, especially uh, coming up on the debate, which I think it, it it may come up. It really might. But uh, I just thought that was a really, really, really problematic tweet. I mean, I know he's got young kids himself, so, you know, I, I understand that he's speaking as a parent, but I just thought, wow, that was, that was kind of a dangerous thing to say. Um, now with that, you know, it's good that he's, he's taking a position and he's going to ride with it, and that's cool, but Given, I'm sure you guys have seen this morning, was it the Emerson poll saying that Yang is now, uh, he's polling second highest in a head-to-head -head matchup against Trump. So that's good, you know what I mean? I mean, considering he's only polling at like 5% right now. But uh, I think they said Biden would, it would be 54%, Biden gets 54% and Trump would get like 51, I don't know, something like that. But uh, Biden was number one, Yang was number two. Warren finishes, I think, at like five, but wow. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video. Like I said, I, I'm I'm not I'm probably not even gonna leave this video up because of the nature of the situation. But uh, I just kind of really wanted to get you guys' thoughts. I mean, because um, I mean, I was going through the feed, and there was a lot of there was a lot of support for the statement. Personally, I don't know if I would agree with that. I think that he, if he's gonna say something like that, he really needs to make sure he's tying it all together and say, okay. Here's the policy that we're putting in place to limit whatever firearms first, then let's get rid of drills or something like that. But for him to just say, let's not do drills, I was just like, ooh, buddy, not right now. Like you're doing good. We're moving in the right direction. We don't want to, we don't want to push it too far. We're feeling ourselves. You know what I mean? Like it's time to start taking this thing a little bit more seriously. Um, and I think that uh, he's. He's really starting to realize like what he's got to do in order to um, get momentum. He tweeted something along the lines of the media realized in 2016 what an influence Trump could have. And that's what propelled him to the, the presidency. And I think that's what he's realizing. I think he's he's understanding he's got to start trying to get these viral moments because at the end of the day, whether or not the press wants to cover it, if he's going viral, then they're going to have to because they're like, well, that's numbers. That's easy clicks that we can get. So they're going to cover him. You know what I mean? They're going to cover him as long as he's doing something big and splashy. I mean, I don't know if he's going to have anything else. I mean, but who, who saw the, the crowd surfing coming? You know, and that was a pretty cool moment. And then uh, he just tweeted out, if you want to know if I'm going to be crowd surfing on Thursday, yes, I will in my sandals or something like that. So, I mean, he's. I think he's really starting to get comfortable. He said that... Uh, He's noticed that over time he's gotten more comfortable and the biggest moments have come when he's just been being himself. So we'll see, man. It's, it's, it's really interesting. I mean, like I said, I, 
I, I could have made a video on the polls this morning, but I was like, ah, you know, that's not, there's nothing really to talk about there. You know what I mean? Like, I'm excited that, uh, I'm excited that he's doing well, like, considering where he usually falls in line. I was surprised that Warren fell so low. Um, but I also kind of wanted, I started digging into the data from, how was it the exit poll? I started looking into the exit poll data because here's what threw me off, right? I, since I got y'all here, so here's the deal. I'm looking at, okay, wait, why is Warren at five? That just that just really seemed weird. Like, why is every Democrat gonna beat Trump except for Warren? So I was like, you know what? Let me see something. So I hopped onto the exit poll from 16, and it turns out it was like 54 percent of people who voted for Trump. Or maybe it was just men. Don't quote me on this number. You can look it up. It was something like it was some large percentage of people were voting against Clinton. Like that's what they were voting for. It was like it was like the question was. It was one that says, I feel comp I feel confident about who I'm run uh, voting for. And the other one was like, I strongly dislike the, their opponent. And like that was an over it was like 54 percent or something. It was a majority. So just stuff like that. I was like, ah, OK, so are these people in New Hampshire? Are they just voting against uh, they just voting against establishment. Do they actually like this person? I don't know, but um, it's looking good. You know, it's surprising. There's a lot of good data out there, but you know, it, it's time to start taking this thing seriously. Hopefully, we can get to a position now where we can start having these real conversations. And I'm noticing he's been talking more, and I'm starting to see some cracks. Like, I mean, now they're asking him some questions that he's just not really prepared for. Before it was, let's laugh off the UBI thing, and he would, you know, kind of hit him with some data, and they, they, they didn't see it coming. So now it's going to be interesting. I know that people were kind of questioning his position on, he's talking about Israel. People didn't like that answer. He's had a couple of answers lately that people were just like, ah. So he's just got to really think about where, where, where he's trying to get people from. Like, you got to get people from everywhere. It can't just be, um, and there's a lot of people who are just like, no, the UBI is stupid to me. I don't, I'm not interested. So you got to have to have the other answers. You got to have the, the geopolitical stuff. You got to have... Um, the climate change for the, those people. You got to have the uh, the businesses. Like you got to cover everybody. You got to cover, and you also got to tie everything together. Like, like he sh he really should talk about the fact that Amazon wants fifteen dollars an hour. He should bring that up. Like he should be like, yeah, Amazon would love fifteen dollars an hour because then they can hurry up with automation. Like throw those out there. Tie everything together so people can see, you know, where what you're saying is going. Because some people get it. Some people see it every day, and other people don't. So it takes you putting those little points out, those little breadcrumbs, lining them up and saying, okay, you get it now? And they'll, they'll kind of see. So things are looking up, man. Debate's tomorrow. But um, yeah, that's it, man. Like I said, I, just, I really wanted to just get you guys' opinion on, on those on those tweets about the, uh, the shooting drill. Um, because I mean, I haven't seen not one newspaper article or online article, no tweet no nothing nobody has talked about this at all and i'm just like you know what if y'all aren't talking about it i'm not either that's fine so um <laughs> we need more african-american supporting it i mean yang has not really tried to get the black vote i mean let's just keep it funky he hasn't done that and that's that's okay you know what i mean he's at, he's at a point right now where he's still trying to get the name recognition up and i'm okay with that but um, and that's why I haven't started picking Yang apart yet. You know what I mean? I could start talking about the issues that I have with certain policies, but I'm not going to do that until he gets to like 20%, until he starts having those head to head, uh, those head to head challenges. Um, when he gets up with, uh, Harris, because him and he going to take Harris out first. She's going to go down because she's got too much, too much money back in her for her to stick around too much longer. So she'll be there. He's going to take her out and then it'll probably be. I don't know. I don't know who will go next. I don't know if it'll be. I think Sanders will stick around to the end. I think it'll be Sanders, Biden, until Biden drops out, and then uh, and then Warren. But I think Warren is gonna bow out for other reasons. I don't think she's gonna really go head to head with Yang. But he's gonna really have to differentiate himself, and he's really gonna have to give people a reason. Like I could make the video why <laughs> why when you throw my. <laughs> I can't run for office, man. <laughs> I can't run for no office. He did in North Carolina and South Carolina. Pick there is. A, I'll tell you guys this. There's a really good video. Oh, I wish I could think of this guy's name. There, there's a YouTuber who made a video. 
It's called Andrew Yang is a trash candidate. You should watch that video. It's a, you should watch that video. This guy, like, I'm a I'm an objective person, okay? This is a good video. Like the guy, he's being a little funny or whatever, but it's a solid video. He covers actual information. In case y'all didn't know, I do have an economics background, so I, I kind of see things from that point of view as well. But it's, it's a solid video. You should definitely check it out because those are going to be the types of questions that when it gets down to it, where you're going to have to be like, okay, does this really, really make sense? Does everything really, really make sense? Because he's going to have to answer those questions. I'm not making that video. Y'all watching my video, so I can't make that video. But if it gets down to it and we're close, I'll finally make that video. And there's a couple of videos like that I'll make, but it, it just has to be at the right time. Right now, I'm just going to follow the day-to-day, -day and, and hopefully we can get him there. But yeah, he's going to have to come up with some better answers. And, and I'm telling you, oh, I was just watching this. I'm sweating like crazy. He just did some... There's somebody else just posted videos. He's like doing some kind of forum. It's, I feel like it said Asia something. Some, he's doing some kind of forum. I think he's in Houston right now. Um, and he had... It's, the guy was asking about prescription drugs. There's like three different posts. One of them about prescription drugs. He eventually gave a great answer, but he started out really rough. And that's what I'm saying. You can start to see that he's answering questions he's just not used to answering. Even if he has the answer, he's just not... He doesn't have that muscle memory where he can just be like, oh... Oh, what's the I'm the opposite of Donald Trump? Like he can't do that no more. Like now you gotta talk to the person and say, okay, this is the answer. He gave a really good answer about uh, prescription drug prices and how he would basically um, license the drugs. Like uh, basically say you have to come within what do you say 20 percent of the international standard for. Uh, I don't know what I've never even heard of this thing. He said it's something like the international standard of. Uh, prescription drug pricing or something like that. I don't know what it was called exactly, but you have to come within that. And if you don't, if you don't comply within whatever time limit, then he would basically, uh, the government would license your your ingredients or whatever to uh, private firms or to whatever government agency is going to make these same drugs. And I was like, wow, that's that's pretty heavy stuff, man. That's definitely something you ain't never heard before. So like, he's got those ideas, man. He's got something for everybody. He just got to get used to saying it. I mean, when you got 150 policies, it's kind of tough to remember them all, right? But I'm going to get out of here. Like I said, I got to go pick up my kid from school, which made me think about, the, think about the shooting drills. So let me know what you guys think about that, man. Like I said, shooting drills. Yang had a tweet about three days ago. He said that he is not for the shooting drills. Just interesting. Interesting. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Joe Biden has so much name recognition. Old Africa, he needs to break it. Hey, like I said, Yang Yang gets up to 20%. We're going to start taking Biden down, all right? Right now, Biden Biden looking a little shaky. He, he might not make it himself. Like, I think he has too much pride to just drop out. But, you know, if something happens to him where he has an opportunity to get out, he's going to take it. But, um, yeah. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I'll be back. New video coming soon. Just looking for something to talk about. I don't want to just make a video just to make one, man. You know what I mean? That's 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 whack. Never had to go through shooting drills. Seems like things need to change. Yo, this is where we live in right now, right?